MJ13 P41. Define electric potential at a point. Ah, yeah. This one should already memorize by now. Okay, what is potential? B. So W over Q. Work done per unit charge. Bam. To move a, a positive test charge from infinity to a certain close point. Bam. Okay, la, two marks. Work done per unit charge. Mm, okay, la, here to move a positive charge. Usually they'll give one mark here and then from infinity to a point. Okay, another mark. Level a bit. La. Okay, done. Okay, the next part. A charge particle is accelerated from rest in a vacuum through a potential difference V. Show that the final speed is this equation. Wow, where to get from? Okay, when you, if you feel stuck, draw a picture. Particle accelerated from rest through potential difference. You could think back to your good old uniform electric fields. Remember this one? If you have a, a plate here, uh, let's say this is a 100 volt. This one is, let's say, zero volts. So high potential, low potential plate. And you place a tiny little charged particle here at rest. Let's call it a positively charged particle. Where is it going to move once you turn on the system? Of course, it's going to move this way. Okay, because you experience an electric force that way. But more importantly, you are crossing, uh, moving across a potential difference. What's the potential difference here? 100 minus zero. So that means halfway you will go and reach 50 volts or halfway you will go 25, okay? It's kind of like you're rolling downhill. If you want to imagine this way, like that, your particle here is going to roll downhill. This is a height difference. Ah. But up here, you're looking at a potential difference here, delta V. Okay, so think of that. So how are we going to prove that thing? We are trying to find final speed. How do you link V to potential? Mm. It starts from rest, right? Got kinetic energy or not? No kinetic energy. So that means all the kinetic energy has to be converted into some kind of work done. So you can say, oh, you gain kinetic energy. And that's because there's a change in work done. So I guess a loss or change. I just write there, loss, la, QV. Okay, so you think of potential difference. So, so KE will be half MV square equals to QV, you remember W equals to QV, remember this one? But this V, uh, don't confuse with the velocity. Uh, this is volts, potential difference, whatever you want to call it. So here, let's just draw a big special V to differentiate between both of them. So here you need to rearrange for V. So let's do that. So V equals to 2QV over M. Last step. V uh, equals to square root 2VQ. Okay, now we follow them. 2VQ over M. Done. Two marks. First one is if you know of the idea of what is lost, what has been gained, how to think of this energy, energy thing. Second one is you equate the equation and then you follow through to get this. Okay, this one's still okay. Now, a tip for you. If they give you an equation to prove you don't know how to prove, you can still move on to the next part. In fact, the next part will probably use this equation to be used in the next part. So keep that in mind whenever you see equations given to you in the exam paper. Let's go on. Ooh, beautiful. Particle with a charge. It, they call it a particle, right? So we assume it's like a point particle kind of thing. Okay, sure. Lah. Or the, the radius is very small. So anyway, it has a certain charge Q. I'll call this small Q. Q, big Q, Q. Move in vacuum towards a metal sphere. They call it a sphere. So very big sphere. Inside got no electric field, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the initial sphere of the particle is given to us when it is far, far, far away. Okay, Lord, so you start off with some kinetic energy here. Let's call this U. The sphere is positively charged and has a potential of 470 volts. Okay, what does that mean? I'll show you later. Use the expression in B. Ha ha, what did I tell you? Use the expression in B to determine whether the particle will reach the surface of the sphere or not. How would we know whether it will reach the sphere or not? Let me show you a simulation to help you think a little bit about this. But uh, when you see this particle coming here, you're going up a potential. 
So when it's a long distance away, like they said in first, you know, see down here, long distance means you start off at some very, very low potential, pretty much almost zero. All right. So if you're at a very far distance, maybe zero. But as you come closer and closer, you are going uphill, up to the surface here. If I draw a graph. And this, at this point, you are at 470 volts. So you will need some energy to get up there. Lah. Okay, I'll show you the example of 3D, like going up a volcano. This is what I mean. Remember the volcanoes? We look at in the theory part uh, of the lesson. So if you are starting off somewhere here like a marble, you want to roll up to this point, the surface of the sphere. Okay, inside there, we don't care what happened. Really, Potential is just a flat peak. So if you want to go from here to here, if you are like riding a bicycle, rolling a ball, you're going to need lots of energy to get up there. Okay, so... You can rotate this side, it's like a volcano, like a mountain, right? From the bottom, you can look. So how much energy do we need? Ah, let's look at the diagram again. So here's the diagram. Let's translate it to the volcano graph we look at. Think of it this way, an, an analogy. You have a marble, you are rolling it at a certain speed. You, or give it some kinetic energy, and you want this marble to eventually reach the top of the sphere which is at a very high potential of plus 470 volts. Okay, usually the black rings here means equipotential surfaces. So that is all at this position is 470 volts. Maybe down here is, I don't know, 420 volts. I don't know. Maybe this black line here is 300 something. Okay, I don't know. Lah. I just, we'll leave it at that. So the idea is you're converting what energy to what? Ke, kinetic energy, convert into... Up there, you should stop moving, right? If you want to just reach the surface, your V final velocity should be zero. So no more Ke. Convert into what? Electric potential energy. Hmm. So here should be only EPE. La. So this is the energy conversion happening. We are rolling up a very high potential. Okay, so let's do the math. Let's do the math. Um, you, how, to, how to math? Ah? You say, miss... We can do Ke equals to electric potential energy, right? Yeah, you could do that, but... Okay, okay. So, let, let's write it out a bit. So, energy needed to reach the surface of the sphere at a very high potential. So, you could say, mm, Miss, we lost kinetic energy. And that equals to a gain in... Mm, miss, electric potential energy. Okay, let's continue. So, you say, oh, half mv square equals to... Miss, electric potential energy, how to calculate? You might say, um, that should be KQQ over R. But hang on a second, do we have enough information to find that? Do we know Q? We, we don't know Q. We do know the small Q. Oh, hang on a second. Do you see something funny? Specific charge. What is that? Look at the unit. C, KG negative 1. Huh? Where the KG negative 1 come from? So that's, we don't know Q, we don't know big Q, small Q, we don't know anything. So we cannot use this equation. And something interesting, they say, specific charge with a funny unit. So this is not Q anymore. We don't have enough information. Sad. So cannot use this. How else to find EPE? Uh? What do you think? Well, if we can't calculate electric potential energy by itself, don't fear. This is the solution. So remember... The relationship between potential energy and potential. Does this look familiar? IRW equals to QV. Recognize this one? <sighs> Turns out that this is our solution. We can't find uh we can't find using the other equation, but we can use the potential of 470 volts to help us find the delta U, which is also known as work done. Lah. Okay? Delta U is work done, work done is QV. So you you end up with this thing. Q times potential difference V. Does this not look familiar to you? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Didn't we just do this just now? Half mv squared equals to QV. We got equation now. Here, half mv squared equals to QV. Ah yeah, no need, to, no need to recalculate everything. So you can just use whatever you already got before. Shortcut there. And you know that the velocity needed to go up a hill, go up a certain potential, will be, eh, not V squared, sorry, V. V equals to 2Q, QV, 2VQ, 
over m. You already given this equation. So how would you prove? Mm, let's do this test. I want to see how much energy is needed to reach our 470 volts. And then I will compare with this and see do we have enough uh, do we have enough kinetic energy or not? Okay, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna ask the question: How much energy is needed? Or sorry, initial speed required to reach the surface. To reach surface. So this is my V now, lo. Initial speed required. So okay, lah. Calculate. So what is two times V? Four hundred seventy. Positive. Q, ah, they didn't give Q, but they gave Q over M. Q over M is actually this one up here. Specific charge. How I know it's Q over M? Le, Coulomb is Q, ma. Per kg means Q over M. Wow. So this one, ah, be careful, okay, please. This, this thing here is Q over M. Specific charge. So 9, mm, 9.58 for our mini charge that is traveling on this surface. So for our mini charge, you will have 9.58 times 10 to the 7. Ah, there we go. So we find the required speed is actually 3.0 times 10 to the 5. Means if you want to reach the surface, you need to start off with this speed. Then only you have enough energy. Okay, something like this. Though. If you want to reach the surface up the top here, top of the mountain, you need to start off with a certain speed. Otherwise, you will not reach that. No enough energy. So we compare. Ah yeah, we only got 2.5, not enough. So one way to conclude is you need to write one more. You need to write a, a conclusion. Because why not? This is A2. We need to write conclusions to our statements because you do get marks for that. So how to conclude? What does this tell you? So the particle speed, you can compare it. So we're comparing speeds are this method. So the particle speed is less than the required speed which is 3.0 times 10 to the 5. So hence, not enough energy. Lor. So hence, it does not have enough energy to reach the surface of the sphere, which has a pretty high potential of plus 470 volts. Not enough energy. Cannot. So this is my conclusion. If you check the mark scheme, they will have different other methods to compare. Sometimes they compare the potential, sometimes they compare the charge, but I think this is the most straightforward one because they already give you V. So what is the V required? What is the V you have? Expectation, reality. Compare them both. Three marks, where do they come from? First one is you plug in the values to your equation properly. Second mark is you get the required speed to get to the top. The third one, if you state a conclusion that makes sense and the examiner can understand your reasoning, then that's okay. So I'll, I'll encourage you to check other methods as well to see if they make sense to you. It's good to know uh, other methods in the mark scheme that they're talking about. Okay, so that's all for this example. Whew, quite an interesting one. But whenever you see things colliding, potential, think of this. Okay, volcano, climbing up a high potential. Okay, so that is all for this video. I will see you in the next one.